Hi YouTube, Brian Phillips here with a super lame unboxing. What is this thing you might ask? Well this would be a windsock. Here's the part number. Are you kidding me? It's made in China? So anyway, just wanted to show you how this actually happens. These things are sold and they don't really tell you about, you know, the fact that you got to figure out a way to hold them onto some sort of structure, um, which really isn't that big a deal. But I was just going to show you how I accomplished my goal of hanging it on the kids' play place outside. Okay, so step one, throw away wrapper. Step two, take the old one that has literal holes in it. It's like crazy. I, um, like this is what happens to the stuff. This rip stop, it's just super effective. That's, <laughs> it's more like rip, rip for sure, not rip stop. So that's what ultraviolet radiation does. So wear sunscreen. Okay. See this? That is a nail. Okay. So it moves up and down. And it's allowed to spin freely. Isn't that fancy? Okay. That's very important. This is a fiberglass. You know, like if you had a sign in your yard or whatever for political candidate or something of that nature, you might have a pole like that. So what I've done is I took and I embedded a nail, a single nail, which is allowed then to pivot. We're just going to transfer it onto this new one. Now this is new fresh rip stop, so it's actually pretty strong, but give it a year out in the sun, heat, rain, wind, snow, everything else, and it's going to look just like, look at this guys, before, after, before, after. It's like a horror movie or something happened. Okay, so what you can do is, um, in my case, I can just spin it to the perfect spot and you can peel it out. Jeez, it's worn down the... See how it's tapered? That's awesome. It's an amazing amount of power. So I'm just going to clean the shaft off. Might as well clean it while you got a chance. Get the aluminum dust off. I'm going to clean it better with some alcohol. And the way I hold those things onto the pole... Jeez, watch out for my giant Reese's snack from Christmas. I use these. I screwed these into the side of the post on the kids' play place. And what happens is this thing has two of them, and it just holds on. It's allowed to move up and down if you want to adjust it a little bit. But they work really nice. These are just, uh, what are these? Ah, uh, shoot, it doesn't say what size they are. It's just a like a hose clamp or wire clamp or whatever you want to call that. Those are just leftovers from work stuff. Okay, so essentially, you'll see that this has a big glob of glue in it. It's like a hot glue. Grab yourself some needle nose pliers. And just grab it and pull that out. And it's really, it's really simple stuff, guys. Get it in there sideways, like this. You'll notice it's not working, right? I do this to demonstrate that there is a better way. So before we do that better way, I'm going to take some alcohol and spread it on this paper towel. I'm just going to clean this, if it'll clean. Remember, being that this is a fiberglass rod, you don't really want to like do that with your bare hand. You could be itchy for a while. Like itchy and scratchy because like grab an insulation and you'll get nasty splinters if you do that too without protection on your fingers okay so that's ready to be ready to be used again now that you've seen the wrong way to do this I'm going to show you the right way you do have to be a little bit careful I'm just going to use the exacto knife that I use when I have a hot blade Okay, because it's super easy. 
Just got a little torch here. I use this torch about every single day. Get that thing nice and nice and hot. And then just go around the edge. Real simple. Oops. Try not to hit your fabric if you can avoid it. Okay, so now it's cooled, so we'll do it again. Get that sucker so it's glowing. Yes. Yes. Okay. I still don't quite exactly understand why they do this. But um, I'm sure somebody somewhere had a rationale for that. And then right into the permanent filing cabinet. And then watch this awesome. See that? It's just literally a nail, guys. It's literally the easiest thing ever. Just take and drill a hole. Put a little CA or whatever glue you got lying around. Then you're going to slide this in from the back side. Whoa, careful. Slide it in from the back side. It's got a little pressure on it. And when you get to the top, you want to just make sure you're not going to knock out your, your frame there. So you might have to give it a little wiggle and jiggle. See, I'm hitting. So now you may have to give it a little bit of help to, to miss. Okay. So I'm going to push the head over just a little bit. Might need a little bit more help than that, evidently. Now you can use that little flat bladed screwdriver. So this is where it's a little bit tricky. So you just try to pop that screw through. Oh, there it goes. And there it came back out. Nope, it's good. Okay, so then just let that stick out the top. And free she is to blow amongst the winds. Okay, pretty amazing stuff. And then for this to come off would be like a miracle. I mean, sure, it probably could if there was a tornado, but, you know, if there's a tornado and you're still worried about this thing in your backyard, you have kind of a crappy yard. So now, normally I would say that's the end of the video, but in good old Christmas spirit, New Year's spirit, I'm going to go put this up and show you what it looks like, and it's going to be awesome. But before we do that, I need to show you what I'm going to do with this, because I am a saver of all things garbage related. Just ask my wife. Okay, this is what I'm going to do next. I'm going to keep this frame, and I'm going to use it for something some other time. And the reason I'm going to do that is because this aluminum tube is very light and probably very expensive to buy in and of itself. I bet it's cheaper to buy aluminum tubes attached to wind socks from Hobby King than it is to go into the hobby shop and buy this aluminum tube. Okay, now this, I was thinking of making, you know, like a pant leg, but I, I'm going to throw it away as a courtesy to my family. There you go. Now you've got that for your next project. All right, the next step will be into the abyss. All right, everybody. If I fall and you laugh, I'm going to block you. <laughs> It snowed today. Look at these tracks over here. Oh my goodness! This is where we're going. We're going to that thing. Do you see those two points? That's where we're going to stick this thing. So it's going to be awesome. You guys just wait and see. Don't worry, I'm not climbing up the rock wall. Although that would be probably fun to watch. Okay, guys, again, no laughing if I fall, even though it would be funny. Oh, it's a son of a gun. Okay, guys, can you?
can you see? Then I just slide these two things in there. And then look at that. Works like a champ every time. And then you just gotta get out of your kid's play place. Except these things aren't designed for six foot tall adult males. Oh, it's so glorious. Look at that beautiful thing. It's amazing.